Hello and welcome to another episode of Behind the Scenes. I'm joined by the cast and crew of Bow and Arrow, the plebs of Sherwood. Um, good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are you? Um, they call me Stepney and automatically I've forgotten all your names. So you have to remind us who you are. Let's start with um, who broke her glasses. She who broke her glasses. If you go first <laughs> and then we work from uh, uh, left to right, I think it is. Hi, yeah, I'm Lucy, and my glasses have just broken my hands. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Lucy, whose bro glasses have just broken their hands. Welcome. Uh, hi, I'm Scott, and I don't have no glasses, so I'm cool. <laughs> hi, Scott, with no glasses. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Demi. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that's it. <laughs> um, they call me Stephanie. I've got great glasses, and with great glasses comes great responsibility. So, um, uh, Lucy, I understand your pain. Um, so, why don't we start by telling the, um, our viewers a little bit about you and um, and who you're going to be playing in this particular theatre? Um, okay. Let's start with Lucy because with great glasses. <laughs> um, so, in this. Uh, play. I am playing the character of Ursula the Witch. Um, I am one of uh, Arrow. The, I am his mum. Very old, as you can see. And um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, um, and I'm also part of the ensemble dancing. Yeah. Do, do you have a musical theatre background? Um, well, my only background is city theatre, so I was in the previous play Warnock and the one before that which was the the uh, panto Snow White and the Scouse Queen where it plays a Northern Irish dwarf and I was in the one before that as well Sea Orc Pirates. I didn't I didn't interview in the last week for Warnock. No no I couldn't make it unfortunately it's the last one. Oh well welcome welcome to behind <laughs> the scenes. <laughs> Scott why don't you go next? Uh, hi, I'm Scott. Uh, the character I play is an old man, um, and also part of the ensemble as well. Uh, I've been doing the acting industry for like 13 years now, and um, started off with a company called 20 Stories High, and I went to college, LC Community College, uh, then I joined the Everman Youth Theatre, and then other than that, I've been torn around the bloody country. I've been to places like the National Youth Theatre, uh, and then I've been to like Edinburgh Fringe. And uh, yeah, I get around a lot. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, a bit about me. <laughs> a journeyman. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, um, so this is my second. Third, third show with City Theatre. So I've done um in 2021, we've done Destiny. So that was like a panto, a musical panto. Um, and then a few months later, I've done a play called The Killer's Conscience. And then after that, I was meant to be in the previous Bow and Arrow, but just due to other things out of my control, I couldn't be involved. Um, but other than that, I've done acting from the age of three. I've Got musical theatre in me, singing, dancing, all of that. Um, went to Lippa, went to Jennifer Ellison's. Um, I've been to, like Scott, I've done a good few things, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful. <laughs> and I love the cast. It's an amazing show. Um, I've, obviously, I've, I've interviewed some of the other guys before, and um, their experience of, of how it's been so far is, was nothing short of hilarious, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so tell me a bit more about it. Tell me a bit more about the project as a whole and um, and and your roles, your characters. Um, let's start with Scott. So, all right, I'll put it to you. <laughs> uh, so I play an old man, a dirty <laughs> perv, in a way. Um, and he's basically like, you know, he can be dirty-minded, he could be like, you know, just an old guy, like an old geezer. I don't know how you would put an old geezer, but pretty much say, like, 
dirty, and that's practically the old it. man at the bar at the pub who's like, you're right, love. Yeah, yeah. That, that kind of <laughs> dirty, as you would say. <laughs> um, let's go uh, to the left of you, Demi. So I'm playing Belle. Belle is known as the Wizard of Kink. So um, apart, she's not really like her wizard, but she likes to think that she is in that sort of sense of that, you know what I mean? Um, so she's a young 21-year-old girl, um, and she is, I don't really know how to put it, like I'm trying to put it in like a sensible way, but she's very um, out there, she's very confident, she's very sure of herself. And she just likes to, you know, she's very flirty, very vibrant. Um, but it's purely just because she likes getting things done in return, if that makes sense. So obviously Scott is the character I'm playing with. So um, a 21-year-old and an old man together, um, doing favours for each other, if that makes sense. So Typical, ty typical yeah. cliche of uh, old man, young girl sort of uh, uh, vibe going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, what about you? What about your character? Um, well, I don't really want to say too much about my character because I don't want to give the plot away. <laughs> uh, Do your best. I guess I'm not more serious than is, but basically, my character's only in one scene, and I'm not going to put any more on that. But basically, she's been in the previous Bow and Arrows, and she plays Arrows, the the main fella it, she's his mum but she wasn't a very good mother from the sounds of it she's a bit of a wacky old witch you know a bit like that <laughs> and um you know well obviously because it's an adult's play everyone in the play is a bit a uh, bit crude and a bit rude yeah and um as being part of the ensemble i'm having a great time last week and not last week on tuesday when we learned to new dance Turns out I'm going to do a cartwheel into the splits. Can't wait. <laughs> you got experience in that? I mean, I, I can't. I can't even do a, front, a forward roll properly. So, uh, how's a cartwheel <laughs> it's going to work out? Yeah. Sorry, what? How, how's a cartwheel into splits going to work out? Do you have experience of it? Well, I used to do gymnastics when I was younger, but I left because I was too scared to do a backflip out. Someone stood there. I could do one, but if someone weren't there to pretend to catch me, I wouldn't do it because I'd be like, I'm going to break my neck. <laughs> so um, my dreams of becoming an Olympic gymnast were soon shattered. Um, <laughs> but I didn't even know, literally. So I have not didn't even realise I could still do the splits. And I was there yes, on Tuesday, like, what? You know, <laughs> felt like an Olympian. You see, with great glasses comes great responsibility. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Broken glasses. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Literally, I just picked them off and they broke apart. I'm very upset. <laughs> um, what What has your experience been like on set, guys? What What, what has it been like? How How has um, like I said, I, I know a little bit about it from the other guys, but how has it been for you guys? It's um, it's actually been really fun. Mm, it's been, it's it, it has been like really incredible. Like everyone's just going for it. You know, it's like that kind of thing when you sit, you know, you go on stage, you're in that kind of zone of like, you know what, if you've got that kind of guts of steel to go on stage and just go, you know, I don't give a shit, I'm here, I've worked hard, yeah. let's just freaking do it. And, you know, if you're going to feel like you don't want to do it and you just want to get out of that comfort zone, you've just got to go, do you know what, if I, if I can believe I can do it, I can do it. Yeah, yeah really. it's a very supportive environment. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yesterday, we did the photo shoot for the promotion. And it. it's, it's something like, like that I've never really done before. And it was so supportive. Like, it was so confidence building. Like, never in a million years. Like, if you said to me, like, three months ago, you're going to be getting pictures, strutting around a pub, Wearing sexy bit of sexy clothes, I was being like, "Do one, mate." I'm not. That would never be me. But <laughs> it was so like supportive, and like everyone just builds each other up. It's yeah. not really, it's not really somewhere where it's not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was looking for. Can I? Can I add as well? Is that okay? So you 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 come together, and um, this is your. I don't know how to say. It, this is your. Because this is a bit different to the other ones, I guess, to the other bow and arrows, is it? Yeah. Well, I'm all the bow and arrows adult. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just going to say, like, obviously, previous shows, like, for example, the ones I've, I've done, Killer's Conscience, um, Destiny and stuff like that, they've been, like, shows, they've been lovely. 
um, obviously um, not on too raunchy to out there. So when we're going back to talking about like um, support, like support, like in a working environment, in a obviously in a drama type of environment, um, I'd say as well purely just because the play is like a rock and roll like type of musical, um, and it's a comedy, it sort of takes like the the dawn to way mm. of, um, you know, we we're, we're gonna go on stage. It's gonna be filth. It's gonna be this. It sort of breaks it up in a way mm. of not being too much. For the audience, um, it, it just puts like a nice little shine on it, a nice little light lift. Um, and as well, it sort of helps us all in a way, gives us all that little enjoyment of, oh, yeah, we love this song. Oh, yeah, we're going to do this song. And this is going to re- represent something filthy. Yeah. And we can all have a little laugh and a joke about yeah. it. And that's what sort of makes it great because it's so different from sex, 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 this, this, this. And it's just like... It's more comedy-based. Like, yeah. I think from the photo shoot, you might think it's a lot more raunchy. I mean, it is, but it's like, it's very much from like a comedy enjoyment standpoint rather than like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It just makes it lighter, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, trying be, I'm trying to be careful here, not to give too much away, first of all, and then um, to, to sort of set set people's minds as to where this is actually going this is an over 18s strictly oh, over right. 18s. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like lots of swearing lots of rude words lots of suggestion lots of innuendo m- more than innuendo in fact full frontal not nudity i meant i meant words <laughs> yeah. the, the language use not nudity no one's actually naked <laughs> um <laughs> um so yeah, not appropriate for underage audiences. And but, go on. Sorry, no, nothing. <laughs> no, I was going to say. So what? What? You're in one scene, Lucy. Um, if I go just each of you briefly, what's your best scene? Because like, do any of you guys have a like a, a particular song where you're lead or? Um, uh, see, see how I kept it clean. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I. It's a bit not a difficult one to say, but it's uh, it's like I think by reading the script and by looking at the whole thing, I think it's all funny, but it's more like a case of like we not unsure, but I think it's like overall it is funny. Yeah, it's jokes from the get go. Yeah, 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 jokes from the get go. Um, sorry, I keep on saying it. I was even about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. I'd probably say, like Scott just said, um, obviously the whole script. And you, it's so hard to pick one scene that just stands out because you're literally like bent over laughing. Oh, bent over. <laughs> 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 you're, you're literally just laughing and like you don't find a minute to sit up and compose yourself because it's just constantly like bang, joke, bang, joke, da, 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 and it's brilliant. But I'd probably say for my character, it when I work with Scott, I, I just can't wait to get that out there because there's so much we can do, so much we can work on, and we've already got so much chemistry as, as friends. So that's just what I'm really looking forward to doing most. Yeah, like, James, it's literally like these lines, it's like you you say a line really and the glasses fall off again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's like every line you read in the script, it's literally like you you just don't expect it. You're like, wait, did they just say that? Like, yeah, I didn't it's, expect it's that. It's a shock. It's a shock that you're hearing something <laughs> like that. Obviously, wouldn't be said in like norm. In, that wouldn't be normalized. Like yeah. you wouldn't hear that on the streets or anywhere else. So that's what sort of makes you giggle in a way, like to think this is something that goes on in people's minds, but it never actually gets said out loud. Yeah, and it's yeah, just quite yeah, funny. Absolutely. There's also people saying things and acting in a way that you you in person never would be like that mm. so it's so funny when you hear someone you would think of it's like well they wouldn't say anything like that when they're in character being like blah it's like <laughs> yeah. so funny are any of you like your characters <laughs> certainly not an old woman that's a witch <laughs> well, well if i'm an old man i don't have gray hair so you know <laughs> Even though I'm like one of the oldest, but I will I, no. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm not far from the age of my character, and I'd say like the way she holds herself for confidence—that that is me in a nutshell. Apart from like going off 
and being this like sexy vibrant person <laughs> that's not me but um the confidence side and everything yeah i'd say so you might it's like when you watch the show you'll see the difference from us to the characters really yeah i don't know um, maybe eccentricity yeah i'm a bit i'm a bit odd which is a bit but i'm not an old woman with white hair so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here to judge you know i, I don't know this, this could all be your makeup for for the show and I, i'm there going yes yeah no no she she is 21 and uh <laughs> um finally guys fingers on buzzers for this one uh the date 6th to the 8th of july go on lucy go on straight in there Yes, I am. <laughs> hey, do you know, I only know, do you know the only reason? Because my mate asked me just about an hour ago and went, when is it? And I was like, I don't know. So she went on the Instagram and told me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was in July, but here you go. See, however you get the information, as long as it sticks in there. Exactly. <laughs> um, guys, I'm going to let you get back to rehearsals. Thank you very much for taking Thank the time. You. time Had a great time. Lucy, Thanks. Demi, Scott, they call me Stepney, behind the scenes. Guys, Thank you very much, and it's been my pleasure. Thank you. Bye. 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 B